Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome to Last Day on Earth. So I've been playing this mobile game since it came out just about a year ago, and I kind of lost some time and interest in playing it, and then recently I kind of just opened the app again, and I've kind of fallen back in love with it. Um, and, the, and the updates to it are really great, and I'm really excited for the future of this game. I kind of wanted to show you guys this, and um, the newest update, the weapons update, just came out for iOS. We've been waiting for about a week since Android got it, so kind of wanted to show it off, hopefully, and keep making videos on it, because it's a great game, and I love it, so... 1.9 is the newest update, and that's the weapons update. And so basically, the weapons update is this, which is the workbench, uh, which basically allows you to modify your weapons. And they lower the cost to it, to basically, very cheap, because before you need steel plates. I'm not rich enough to have steel plates, so that's very nice for me. So let's start grabbing some things that we'll need to make this. Totally forgot what you need. So let's grab 15 iron bolts. That, that'd be cool. So we're gonna build that. Uh, we're gonna hopefully have to bunk out to see if we can exchange there. And see if we can get any of the weapon um, blueprints, because you need blueprints to start crafting. Um, and what's really great about the attachments is they may be very cheap. Or actually, the, the attachments are pretty expensive, but you get to keep every single attachment that you make forever. So, for example, if you make a silencer for your Glock, you can then silence every single Glock you have from that point on, which is really, really great. That thing is awesome. And just kind of seeing some of the attachments they have, there are some great things to choose from. So we need to make two chests, we need five more bolts. So let's grab some wood, let's grab some, some, oh, what is this called, uh, fiber, plant fiber, yeah. So hopefully, I don't think we get any, um, kind of modifications, I think we need two chests, is that right? We need two chests, so we need bolts, planks, and then a lot of bolts. I don't believe it comes with any, so we might just have to get lucky to find some, but. This might just be a, kind of just a winning game to be getting more, which is fine. And I've been stockpiling a bunch of weapons in preparation for crafting. So let's finalize. And boom, there's a weapons bench. So we've got, this is the mods we can choose from. There's a whole entire list, and you can kind of see them all. There's a extremely rare, rare, and then they have active skills which are not currently released. So we are just kind of going to hope to get something good. There's some great new weapon mods. Um, but I'm excited to get, hopefully we get them soon. But this is the only, and they've kind of got this cool UI. Uh, I've just got this speedrun because it was um, farming. But we can start um, disassembling some weapons that I have. So I've just kind of been waiting just in case, because there's new weapon parts, gun parts, from the, uh, the recycler. So that should hopefully get going, we've got a weapons bench built, which is very nice. So we can start throwing everything back. And we can hit Blanker Alpha. Hopefully, from what I've seen, there's a chance to get some blueprints, especially from the, um, the ticker crates. But I don't have a super big amount of tickets, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, so we're gonna grab our tickets. We're going to meet weapons. So I think just two of these should be fine for the bloaters. Then we can these have actually changed. A lot of the new weapons have kind of changed. We can grab that too, just in case. That should be good enough weapons. I've already got a couple guns and some armor there. And they kind of this little blue or purple, depending on what mod you have, is kind of a new thing they do it, which is really cool. But we're gonna grab some cheaper armor. Uh, I, think, I guess a full set is fine. Okay, we should have a bunch of food there already. I should have left that there. Um, let's grab some food before we go, so we don't starve and need some things. Grab some beans. Let's get rid of that. We have some water inside. We should be since we have alpha. Hopefully we can get some good things from the crates. Hopefully we can we won't get enough for red tickets this time. 
but we should be able to open up the mill ticket. So I'm hoping just to get a few blueprints, just to get something going. I probably won't be making any weapon mods that are kind of the, the lesser ones that I won't be using since there's no point in making that. Oh, we need to fucker code. Fucker code's important. But there's no point in making um kind of like the okay mods. The mods are kind of like in figures the other ones. Since once I get once I get the better ones anyway, I'll be using those only and they're decent expensive, so I kinda wanna save. But one of the things was they um they changed weapon parts to springs. Um and they, they added a few more things like lenses and kind of like other weapon parts. So my bunker code is 44730. That's a bunker code for today. 44730. So let's go over to this bunker. And hopefully we'll get some decent things there. And or if anything, just clear it. And then we'll be able to hopefully maybe start farming in different zones, get some weapon parts. Or weapon mods, and get some really high damage weapons, and hopefully some good melee weapons too. But that is all to be seen. Four 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 seven three zero, I believe the code was. Okay, if I forget this code, I don't want to have to run back. Four four seven zero. I think that's it, because it's a five-digit code. I've just got some things laying out in the locker since those are set. Awesome, got away. Cool. So let's we've got our second set of gear and we've got some weapons for um rented giants. So let's start off with our machete. And grab uh, more weapons. Actually more food. And that should be set up for this good start. Yes, yeah, so we can make that full. We can make that full as well. So we've got a gas mask in case we don't find one. Actually, we found one in a crate, so I actually need to grab that gas mask once we hit the third floor. Once we start using our stuff. So first, let's just clear out this. Let's take back this guy, take him out. So I can drop anything. Great. So the specialist actually, he's this is the same, his tables change. Um, it used to just be weapon upgrades, but You'll be able to turn in any, since you don't really get a certain amount of modifications, or you won't get confirmed ones that you don't already have, so. If you ever get any duplicates, you can turn that into him to get a random one eventually, which is really nice. Weapon part, cool. Uh, that's really nice, actually. Or, weapon part, engine part. And then one weapon part as well. So that's good. I don't think we have enough. No, we need two more. So we'll probably get that throughout the, the first floor here. Let's take out these fast fighters and we got one more. Drop something. Cool. So, it's pretty easy to run through the bunker on easy. Most of you who play this game probably know that. Um, I would run through hard mode, but I also don't. Since I kind of did stop playing, I stopped playing before they started adding a bunch of the um, new updates, like the, the shipwreck and, the, and the, the holiday updates. And I wasn't very rich to start with, so I, I've i kind of been playing a little bit. I was, I think I was just below 50, level 50, before I came back. I think I was like 52, and I'm 92 right now. I've got a nice 40 level since then, just basically running through my bunker alpha, because you get lots of experience just from running through here. So, let's just easily run through second and third floor. Let's go to this since they one shot everything. 45. So this mall. I don't know if I if I like this new look to it. The other one looked a lot better, but it is what it is. Well, um, I got a. Blur boy right here. Sneak attack him. And finish him. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> oh, just like to food. So we've got a Frenchie giant in this next room. That we're just gonna sneak by these two. Since you're able to do that. We're able to sneak attack both of the fast butters and then we'll just um 
So I get the Frenzy Giant. That's one. And then we'll use the Sting Tank, a second one. And then the Frenzy Giant should aggro. Unfortunately, they, they took off the, kind of, um, the auto trick where you could uh, rapid fire by clicking auto and fire at the same time. They've patched that. Well, I'll save our weapons so we can spend some money. But it doesn't take too long to take them out anyway. So now we've got to take out the giants in here, abominations. You guys will just auto them. That toxic abomination only takes down your health. Okay, so y'all take it good. We can open y'all the crate now. Also, so usually I just like to go around, and open the crates, and just grab the tickets out of them. So when I go through later, um, I won't have to carry so much since you can make a few trips back and forth to grab everything that's here. So we take out the spitter. Give us nothing. Can't say you attack both, to my knowledge. They're so close, but. Tank isn't too bad. We'll see if those blowers from behind by going all the way through here. We'll see if we can get lucky though. Not really. I'm not sure if you can get any modifications in the regular chest or if it's just in the, the ticket chests. But we're gonna find out. I don't think I've seen anyone get them for that matter. But you never know. Alright. Machete. Oh gosh. That's all of this guy. So we've got, uh, I think, two toxic combinations in the next room, and then a Frenchy Giant. Which shouldn't be too bad, since the Frenchy Giant's turned around. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, we'll just auto these guys. Yeah, I need. Marine Tactical Gear really does keep your health. Super high since I don't do as much damage as these guys do. My um, my tier two gear, I think it is, which is fine. So let's take out the Frenchy Giant. Stick attack him with the sawmill since it has the longest range. You can do that. Any other weapon you wouldn't be able to. They might have changed the sounds too. I'm not really sure. Oh, I forgot the other block for the rest of the floors since these three are about to break, and I don't know if this M16 is broken or not, but I'm pretty... okay, it's broken, so I'll be more okay to use it. Otherwise, I kind of want to save it for for the future, maybe hard mode, or maybe once I get a couple of mods, I can use it for raids, because I'm not currently allowing raids since my base is not really protected since I don't have enough to make stone walls, and Base just of wood isn't very uh isn't very smart in my opinion. I've other ones is like maybe uh just like just like once around the stone walls somewhere. Did I leave that? I think I did. No, I didn't. So we so far haven't found a weapon on our division. So it's very sad. Pants, great. I think I can see attack this place I can. I think we're halfway through at this point. We just got this next one's probably the hardest since there's the group of enemies right by the turret. I might actually be able to take out the turret with my M16. I might just kind of want to do that, because I've never taken out a turret, really. I think I did it once on the third floor. You got the big one just chilling in there. I don't know if I have enough durability either. We're going to have to go to the pistol, so let's just sneak up. Yep, we're good. Okay, we'll have the pistol and we'll have to take a bunch of damage. Gosh. Yeah, it takes that half of the fast. Okay, so we're basically out of pistol durability. Um, I'll have to grab that new one. I don't know if I have enough, actually. Hopefully, in the yellow crate, we get something. Because I don't want to use these weapons to break. Mm, I think I'll use the, the katana. Oh, shoot. Alright, we're going to have to train to get the taco spitters. Kind of on the way to the. Abomination. Okay, we're Awesome. 
awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, turret parts. Those are the first turret parts I ever had. That's awesome. That was a great find. I've actually never looted this chest before because I've never taken out this this turret. I don't think it's very special though, is it? Glue. That is huge. Okay, so I guess glue. Glue is probably one of the biggest things we can find here. Since glue is one of the rarer kind of items to use for weapon mods, at least crafting them. But that's huge. That was a good. Not one of the turret every single time. Okay, this machete is breaking. Yeah, we can't sink back these guys. I'm probably gonna have to swap weapons. If I don't die first. We actually might not need to. Okay, 10 damage. I think we do. I think zombies do 7 or 10. Level up. Uh, 7 or 10. Not 7. 7 or 8. With um, maybe 6. With tech form. Yeah, that's empty. That seems to be empty a lot for some reason. I don't think he, I think these guys are able to be sneak attacked. I'm not really able to do it. Oh, I didn't really realize I broke that. That's fine. I'll have to katana, I guess, until that breaks. Okay, awesome. So once we run through here, we'll be able to open up the door back to back to the first room, so we can be able to grab uh, grab hopefully a better Glock, because. We've got maybe one, so I don't want to say any friendly giants without that. And what that did add was that new chest too. So before this room kind of had a like a middle island that you could loot, I guess they moved around the corner. But that table is weapon obligation, which they kind of lend for people who maybe oh I just put the tunnel awesome. Um, for many people don't who don't have maybe mods, but you can see. Uh, that you can just do it here for the people who don't uh, who don't have the resources probably, which is super nice I guess. Which oh I already did that, but you have to kind of walk through the whole thing. So if you really want to mod weapons, you probably have to use a bunch of them anyway, or maybe go through here and then mod the weapons that you still have at home if you even had any. But it's not too high, it's not too high of a level to make the weapons work. Awesome, another pistol and another engine part. That's great because we um we are almost complete with our with my chopper. I don't have it yet. I I am also just missing the um, the gas tank, which most people are, but not level three, which is not too bad. The gas tank is. Well, even if we got the gas tank today, I would still need the, the engine parts to finish it. I think I'm half of engine parts. I think I'm at 10 or 11. Then I'll be up to 13, which is great. So, hoping that, um, I think they did raise the, the chance to get the gas tank. I'm not too sure. I haven't read too much into the patch notes, but I've got half to a billion in armor. But I'm hoping that we'll be able to maybe get the gas tank a amount of time, so we don't have to loot that spot, maybe time before I get it, like some people have, and I still haven't gotten it, pistol. I really have to get getting used to that with this new update, because dismantling probably is one of the best ways to get anything, it's like there's a big, 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 because once you get, um, once you start getting into the highest levels of your recycler, you start doing really great things, so once you kind of surpass level 30, 35-ish, and get to like get past that, you can start um, getting some great chances for things since your level is basically what determines your chances besides the derby of the weapon. So, oh no, oh god, I don't have my food ready, I can be really bad. Probably don't want to switch armor too. But if you, if you uh, go to dismantle a full derby of the weapon, you will have, I think, four chances for the, whatever, whatever the roll is. So, for example, you might get a. Oh, that giant's coming. Oh, jeez. Get a pistol really quick. I think you could 
four chances for shooting, there are going to be three, and then I'll go something down. So there will be four rolls for the, you know, four percent for cloth, for armor, or, um, you know, weapon parts from shooting guns, or whatever you want to. But, getting just one roll is good too, especially if you're like me and you just built your recycler and you don't have money levels. Getting that up to the higher levels gives you a higher chance to get great parts. For example, if you get your electronics up to level 40 and you start throwing in batteries, you start getting copper, copper bars very, very common. Which is really great because that means you can make a bunch of steel. You're kind of low on melee weapons too. Let's grab this, we can grab our armor. Grab that for the the, the gas room. That probably will break on us too. Um, it takes about just a, just a bit over half to kind of get through the rooms for some reason. I don't know if I'll leave this one up. It takes about half to get through the gas room, which is, which is okay. But that means we can't really use a full one for anything, which is a little unfortunate. We want to grab the second pistol too. We'll grab this as well, I guess. Just to, in case we have no more melee weapons. We got an AK now, which is super nice. But, we're almost done with uh, second floor. So far, no weapon blueprints. So I know a great way probably is going to the red zone. If you're one of those people who go to the red zone. Um, I think I'm a person who usually saves more. Than they ever want to use, so I could probably do I could probably do hard mode, go to the red zone, but I don't really want to waste the resources since I don't really have so many resources because I just recently started going to Blank Alpha since the first time I went to Blank Alpha was when the turret was in the corner room uh, where it slows you down, awesome more loot, and I kind of was my that was when I was really new to the game. I kind of brought like one pistol and a bunch of new weapons and I was really really terrible and did I oh there's my glass I forgot I didn't see him for a second oh no 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 <sighs> you've been able to open that room in the past um <laughs> without getting hit unless I maybe snuck wrong well that's great um We'll just have to grab one of our pistols. I think we have enough armor. Yeah, we have a full durability. Um, I want to see if I have maybe a partially broken pistol. Actually, no, we need a full one because he's got full health. That's fine. Maybe we can just spend a full gun. Um, while we're here, I think we've been out for 10 minutes. We might have gone, yeah. So let's throw a gun in there, yeah. So, factory parts and carbon composite was new once they added. Plus, you have a chance to get a weapon blueprint from whatever gun you dismantled. So, you want to mod some make case, dismantle some make case. Um, so, for people who are really rich and who are high level, start throwing in your um, your fully perfect AKs. But if you're a new player, I recommend probably getting your weapons down before they break, getting that level up to you know 20 or 30, then you can start. Putting in the higher durability weapons if you even want to do that. You obviously can always just use broken weapons until you get to a point where, you know, weapons don't matter, but I'm not uh I'm not the richest. I don't even have I have no, no uh I guess special um kind of item at all. I don't have any steel, any um Kind of like the, the high level electronics. I don't even know what they are. The electrical circuits. I don't have any of that. I haven't gotten lucky. The best thing I probably have is aluminum. Or, uh, and I also have a second chopper for it because I've gotten two of them in the yellow crate. But that's not really going to help with anything once I have one. But yeah, aluminum is probably the best thing I have. Um, which is kind of unfortunate. But I just got that really recently after from Buck Alpha since. I never. Oh, is this a, is this a mod one? Oh! They just have a green laser on this. And the weapons show, which is really cool, so if you ever use a modded gun, they'll show you that gun on um, the mods. Come on. So once you kind of get those high level mods, you're going to start looking awesome. Let's go. 
cost a million ticket, whatever. So let's grab our stuff. Put this on. Get all this. Awesome. Okay. So let's just organize this for my sake. That's fine. So we got some more Frenchy Giants in here. Okay. Now we're finding the sneaky tip. Since I don't want to mess that up again. And then my I'm gonna be scared. I'm gonna be doing more damage because of the laser. Huh? Well, let me check. So yeah, we're doing more damage. So the good thing about this guy, you can you can um use any long range weapon through the wall. Which is really nice. So then you can just keep doing this. Super super great. 55? Is this I think they increase the damage on that, unless I might just be dumb actually. I'm gonna always be 55. Just never taking the time to look at the numbers. But that is floor number two. I believe. We're clear. So best things we got was definitely the tur parts and the glue glue, which is super super big. Did I grab it? Okay. So now we're gonna head to the third floor, which we we've got enough guns for all the French giants. I'm not sure if we have enough melee weapons, but the good thing is there's a chance for us to find um, some machetes. And I think once we get to the French giant, buy the two crates, so that'll be super great. Hopefully, we find one. Obviously, I've done some bucket runs where I found like two or three machetes, and then I found none. So, if we get like one, I think we'll be set. But we should be fine, I think. With um, we we'll maybe just have to use start using our saw blades. And if they break, we gotta make sure we save them since some of those saw blade mods need um need saw blades themselves, which is great because you can just put in a fully broken one. I think I've got I think I have two saved right now, which would be great for when I get them since. There's the, um, there's like a motorized handle to the saw blade, and you've got, um, this like red saw, which is, which makes it really, really good. Which will be really, really good for once I, once I get that mod. But until then, we'll have to save it for everything. Ooh, 130, 135. Okay, I don't know. I feel like these weapons are just updated now, I'm seeing it. An updated. So, oh my god, I keep breaking everything. So let's hit this room first. Let's look at the fast fighter. Two fast fighters. Hopefully they're coming. Let's make sure we don't aggro that French giant. Armors are breaking. Okay, so I want to say this since do you get a chance for metal or do you get a chance for something um, when you uh, recycle? So I think we've got a full set of tier two in the in the green crate. We might have. I didn't check if we had. Or I didn't really pay attention if we had tier three in um in the yellow crate, but we actually might. No, we're fine. Um, yeah, we should probably be fine with food. I really hope we are. I don't really have that much going for me. Um, because I kind of just, um, I think usually you got two saw blades, like three machetes, and maybe like another, um, melee weapon of your choice. Then you grab, I think you need, I think it takes a fourth of a Glock, uh, to take out a hundred yards. Just about a fourth. So, I would say it's very fair to say three blocks are one French giant. So, I think you maybe need like two per four? Uh, I think two blocks might be fair. So, you know, if you just wait to do crates and you bring like maybe like two blocks, um, you might have enough to to be fine. Um, we might be on track to get, um, I think, you know, every two runs is what we're looking for. For red tickets. I usually get around 15. 15 or 16 has kind of more than seen. 
which is not bad. Two runs for the crickets is, I think, probably more than what you'd probably expect. Let's grab that one. So we've got this French giant. I think we've got we got one, three or four more. There would be five on this floor. I'm really bad these guys don't run. Okay, right. I'm gonna change armor. Um, we might be, uh, we probably won't be fine going all the way through. We might be able to run all the way through actually, just to open it up. Maybe. Mm, I don't know. There's a lot of enemies. Oh no 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 no. Oh god. I don't know, my armor's probably actually gonna break. Yeah. Yeah, we're probably just wanna go back, because it's all one health. That's fine. Um but yeah, I think there's maybe five in the sword, because we got that one in the back room. One in this little walkway. We got two in the corner. We've got one right uh behind that door. Oh, we got, actually, we have two. So, I, what is that, seven? So, what? Probably, uh, what, three? Yeah, so you probably want three Glocks for that floor. Um, you have, mm, do I want to use that? Yeah, because we want to leave a set of them over here, actually. So that's fine. Um, then, mm, ah, shoot, there's no way that's right. So let's, we have, we'll probably want to get lucky with the machete, because this shovel is about to break, isn't it? It's like halfway. And it's not that strong. 20 damage, or 26, I think, 23. It's not really what we're looking for. Yeah, it's just over halfway. Um, which is fine. We'll get there, hopefully. We have not found anything super amazing, this floor. I'm hoping in the, the, the double room coming up that you can see right there. Hopefully we'll find something, but... That's a blind one's room. I thought we were taking out the blind one. I really need like two shotguns. I think for the blind one. And probably a set of SWAT gear. I haven't got a set of SWAT gear. Um, I think I've opened up two red tiger crates. And I've gotten, um, I think I got handlebars for the chopper. I've gotten a C4. And then, uh, the first time was just a bunch of weapons, which is really nice because I didn't really have any weapons. And then mm, the second time was C4, and I think. Some ancient parts, and then something else. But maybe it's a couple, couple weapons. But they haven't really gotten a set of swalker, which is you know which is really nice. Oh my god! I really need to start looking at durability. Great, we got a level up. Awesome. So let's take out this frenzy giant. Okay. Which they one shot you. I think they really don't one shot you in this. I don't know if it's Catholic here that they can do it. I don't really want to test that theory. I'll do it then. Um, did I not? Okay. So, let's hope we can get a machete. A machete? Okay. I think these are usually the areas where I find a machete. Otherwise, I think in the back corner I had as well. No machete. That's fine. Um, but I just want to use the rest of this. Uh, that's a... Oh no, I think my weapon just glitched. Oh no, okay, that was weird. That, I thought I really got really worried that I would have lost a saw the way. I would have been really sad now. Because these things are, uh, are expensive to make and they're not easy to come by either. Uh, usually in airdrops, they're, uh, well, you gotta... I've really only got like a 1 in 3 chance to get, um... I get something decent. Besides so just getting like um where the, the mall is and then a machete. Which you know any of them are actually I'll take. I could use I could use a Glock, I could use a we're probably gonna swap this out just before it's gonna break. So we are probably gonna have any weapons, so we might just have to we have to shoot our way through. Oh shoot, that's what I want. Um Right. Um, so I really hope that we get a we get a machete, or we might not be able to do this floor. Um, it's just I'm gonna have to use my guns. I'm gonna have to grab the AK and the crate, which I would really not want to do. You know, 
we'll have to save that AK for and get some AK mods, maybe. Because we can make some great, great weapons. So instead, most weapons have four. We've got the, the muzzle, like the, the barrel, the sight, and the mag. Which can, you know, increase weapons really, really nicely. Since some give you good, uh, good buffs, some don't give you buffs at all. Or they can't take away, which is unfortunate since. You also might have to play a, a toss-up game of, you know, do I want this because of this, since you know, make a bunch of crit damage or crit chains, but they might um, might take away some some speed for guns. And also weight too, so I don't know if that makes you slower to learn, which I assume it is, but there's weight to take into factor now. Okay. Um Sort of crossroads here. I want to save my Devastator. Or my Sawblade, actually. So I just want a pistol. This abomination. That's fine. Okay. So, I think we'll just sneak attack this guy. I thought, yeah, we are. Okay. So we're going to sneak attack, run away, and we're going to grab a different pistol since this one's going to break once I'm done with it. So come around the corner. Something. Cool. That's like it. Awesome. Yeah. So we might just get about 15 with um the three more French giants and then maybe just get lucky in a box. But I really need a machete or I will not be able to make this without having to go back, which is it's not too big of a deal, I guess. I don't know if I can secure a sneak attack. Nope. Nope. No. 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 I can't tell you how many times I've accidentally broken a pistol. And I've got to melee them and I got them one shot because I haven't realized them. I think this pistol might be able to take out the rest of them, which will be really nice. So that's good to look forward to. Um, so we got. Well, I, was actually, I think I miscounted my French Giants, but nevertheless. We might be. Oh, thank God, Machete. What did I say? So yeah, all my melee weapons are broken. Uh, that's fine. Well, I guess we'll take that away. Even though I never go into that room since there's too many zombies to make it worthwhile. And I don't know how many boxes there are, but I don't really want to have to waste that much weapons for possibility of nothing. Yeah, after this we'll have two giants. Yeah, no, we'll only have probably enough for it. But we can sink attack, so we might actually be fine on punching giants. Um I don't know if that's one fourth durability with a sneak attack, but it doesn't look like it with how much I did to that guy. Okay. We've got a machete, which is really nice for the for the, the few couple other zombies we have going. We have like a I think there's oh, tax abominations. These guys are annoying. Oh come on! Oh no. So we're in a bad place. So let's do this. This guy has heavy armor, by the way. Okay, cool. So this is yeah, the machete is huge. Um, so if you haven't already told, I am currently playing on my playing on iPad since Android users kind of get lucky and they can use an emulator on the computer, but I don't have that luxury, and I don't think I can transfer data. But hopefully this AirPlay doesn't look too bad. I think it's not too bad. Sometimes I might be a little slow, but I guess that's that's the best I got until I get like a, maybe a capture card. I'm not really sure what you can use um, for displaying on your your computer, but I think we're making do. Okay, so oh these work rates awesome 16 that's huge. Oh this might actually be smart so I can one shot this guy. That should be good. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Okay. I have to do it. Okay, so now, okay, then no, we're fine. Because we'll be able to take out the, the French Giant in the next room. And then we'll be able to. We'll have to grab an AK because there's, there's another. Okay. 
Oh, she was looking at me. Um, we'll waste the Glock, that's fine. This is, uh, I always seem to come with just a little bit less weapons, and I always have to use more than I want to, so. Oh shoot, we can't sing attack that guy. Um, okay, we'll just use one durability of this to take him out, since we don't aggro the Toxic Spitter, not the, the, um, the Abomination. So we'll have to grab, um, the AK, and probably use the full durability of it, so. I guess all in all, it could be worse. Since I don't really have to, I can just dismantle it, get some levels, but it's a little unfortunate. It's kind of long to save it. I think I've got a couple AKs at home though, so it's not the end of the world. How's the armor looking? Eh, it's not too bad. Let's grab some Ben just in case I run out of food because I'm literally about to. Um, I don't think um, we've got really anything else. Yeah, no, I've just got all broken weapons, so I guess for next time we'll have to remember that I need uh, more melee weapons. But we've got um, like two more runes, so we should be fine. Because um, I can maybe just use my. use that saw blade mace. Because um, I can probably sing attack the. Mm, I don't know if I'll have enough. That's fine. So we'll just have to spray it. And the thing that did that, there's. Um, saw those misses, you can no longer hold down um, assault rifles. Anything else you can hold down, um, like pistols, uh, shotgun, only the rifles have um, kind of like a, a cooldown in a sense. It's like uh, you get tired from like shooting. It's like it's like a stability maybe. So you'll have to kind of make sure you stop shooting for a little bit to um to reset your aim. Bunch of misses. Which is a nice, I guess it's a unnecessary evil for all the weapon mods we get, which are very much worth it. So, um, last room. So let's grab the rest of our food, let's grab our trusty AK, and let's go out. There's nothing good. I'm missing so much. Okay. Almost done. Oh my god. Yeah, we need to wait a while, I guess. Yeah, I... <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've... So we... I guess a good thing to know is you need to wait a long time to... to reset your aim or... go spray down until there's nothing. Um, anything good in here? No. Okay. So, let's throw on that and let's throw on the bandages in case... Because we're going to have... We'll start taking damage for sure. I just want to make sure I don't use that back soon, so... We may be able to make do with it breaking and using, but, okay, we're good. Okay, we might be able to do it. I don't know. Um, I, my door might be hopefully open enough. <gasps> no, 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 it's not worth it. Okay, so I got the glue. That was huge. Um, it's really unfortunate. I don't have really full... Um... I might be able to go back in and loot it later once I kind of clear my inventory. I don't really want to risk dying. Um, or just kind of wasting gear. So, I guess that was what we got going for the bunker. Um, we haven't found any weapon uh, modifications, blueprints, unfortunately. That's fine. Uh, hopefully when we would start looting zones or maybe they're in the crates, I haven't found them yet. But we've got a skill. Let's look for something good. Um, <gasps> oh, man, that's actually not. Oh. Well, I really want Bruiser because then your your skill just increases your total health, which is really nice. But we've got some great glue. I think we've got probably got maybe ten throughout the whole thing. We've got some some tickets for the future. I think the next one we go up, we should be able to open the red crate. But otherwise, uh, that's pretty successful. And this this new update is really awesome. So I'm hoping to um. Get some blueprints, get some mods, and maybe we can start raiding. Maybe even do a hard mode, but we'll get there eventually. But thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you want, 
to uh to make some more videos uh hit hit that like button um subscribe i'm trying to to grow so help me on my journey hopefully you come back and enjoy more of these videos and thanks for watching